Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I share with you how to make an amazing extreme high growth oil. Now, this high growth oil is actually really good for making your hair stronger and also for growing your hair faster. So I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now, before we dive into it, thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I really love and appreciate your support. And if you're new here definitely consider clicking that subscribe button to join the family and also guys please hit your notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content from me and let's hop right into the video so the first ingredient we're going to need for this recipe would be some aloe vera now i'm using fresh aloe vera leaf here but if you don't have this it's fine to use aloe vera powder which you can purchase off amazon um on or ebay so i just decided to cut a small portion of the aloe vera that i was going to need uh for this recipe now like i always say guys please change up these quantities based on how much of the oil you're trying to make you will get to see a little bit later how much of the oil i was able to make using this quantity of aloe vera now i also had some bits of aloe vera that had broken off the ends when i bought it um i just decided to sort of add that to this so essentially i went ahead washed it off to remove all impurities and debris and dirt and all of that and then i'm just cutting it here into smaller pieces um, so that it is just easier for me uh, for the next process which you will later on find out so cut it up really nicely and then you're pretty much ready to move on to the next step now aloe vera is really good for our hair guys because it helps to strengthen the hair it has some active enzymes in them and minerals that can actually help to make your hair stronger it also controls grease uh, on the hair because it has an enzyme that breaks down fats and it basically strips your hair of any extra oil. It helps with an itchy scalp, it protects your hair from UV damage, it promotes healthy hair growth, it moisturizes the hair. So really amazing benefits and definitely worth considering adding to your regimen if you're not doing so already. So after cutting everything up, I'm just transferring it here to a, a bowl and then I'm going in with my next ingredient which will be some nem powder. Now nem powder is really good as well because it helps to condition the scalp, it promotes healthy hair growth, it temporarily seals the hair cuticles, it soothes freeze, minimizes grays, it reduces dandruff and it also treats head lice which is amazing. So essentially it just gets rid of all the impurities that you can have from your hair certainly and that's certainly very good for hair growth now i'm going in with my oil here i'm using olive oil but you can use any other oil of your choice guys it could be coconut oil it could be grapeseed oil any other oil that you prefer i love to use olive oil in my diys because i just love how it makes my hair feel in most cases it makes my hair really nice and smooth really shiny and really moisturized so i love 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 to use olive oil but like i said feel free to change these oils depending on what you've got so i just pop that in there and then mixing everything just so it's nice and combined and then i'm going to go ahead and do the double boiler method just so that i can extract most of the nutrients from the aloe vera especially um so it consists of basically putting a pot of um with water in it on fire and then place your bowl of the, your aloe vera and nem powder and your oil inside it and allow it to boil for a little bit you need to come and stir in between now you know it's ready when the aloe vera has turned from a bright green color just like you can see here to a dark green color and that's how you know that it's ready it might take a little bit of time maybe like maybe 20 to 30 minutes so just be a little bit patient so at this point i was completely done and i'm just ready to move on to the next step which is basically basically um to strain my oil now to do this i'm using a recap but you can use any other thing of your choice it could be a stocking cap or a tea towel or anything that you usually use to strain your oils but i would suggest that you use something that's fine enough so that you can have most of the powder left into your strainer so that it doesn't get into your oil and get stuck in your hair 
so i transferred everything into that and then i'm just allowing it to naturally drain and then for the rest of it i'm just going to squeeze it very gently just to get the rest of the oil out now bear in mind that as you're squeezing because you've got a bit of powder in it some of it will definitely pass through the holes but that's okay because it usually sits at the bottom anyways and then you, when you're transferring it to your container you can certainly get rid of what's left behind so I'm now going in here with some vitamin E oil again this is really not necessary guys if you don't have it so don't worry go ahead and use the oil with the other stuff that I'm going to show you but vitamin E essentially is really good as well for our hair and for maintaining a healthy scalp so I have these capsules that I got from Amazon again I will link it in my description box guys if perhaps you want to purchase it um, so I added about maybe 10 uh, capsules into that and then I'm going in with my essential oils so I'm using again the same essential oils that you probably have seen before if you've been watching me which are rosemary essential oil tea tree essential oil and peppermint essential oils these are my go-to essential oils because i do find them very helpful at stimulating blood flow to my scalp and essentially helping with hair growth i've definitely seen amazing results using these essential oils over the years and that's why i usually stick to them i tend to stick to what works and i'll suggest you do the same so try and and see how how um it turns out and then if it works for you definitely stick to it so uh, mix it well just to combine everything and then i'm just transferring it here into a little jar in which i'm going to store the oil um so that's pretty much it this is what the oil looks like it has a nice strong green color full of amazing nutrients for our hair and scalp so i'm just covering it here um and then that's sort of pretty much it in this next part of the video guys i'm going to show you how i'm applying this to my hair um and also we're going to talk a little bit more about you know how to maximize growth when using oils um so my hair at the moment is pretty dirty um i did have this braids on um and it had been quite a while maybe like three weeks that i had it and i haven't and i hadn't washed my hair so this is basically my hair following taking out those braids so i just twisted i just took the braids out finger detangled and twisted you know uh, my hair so i'm just getting every single twist undone um so essentially this was like a wash day for me so i was going to use this oil as a hot oil treatment so before i shampooed my hair so i'm going to work the oil through my scalp you know my ends basically throughout my entire hair and make sure that everything is nice and saturated Now there's so many other ways in which you can use this oil in order to maximize hair growth. It doesn't necessarily have to be only as part of a as an of an hot oil treatment. You can actually use it as a regular just hair growth oil. Um, so essentially by just massaging it to the area that you're trying to grow. So let's say you've got thin edges and you're trying to grow your hair back in that area definitely massage that on there on a regular basis i would say at least three times a week to be able to see results a little bit faster now scalp massages are very very good at increasing the blood flow to your scalp has actually moisturizing or nourishing your follicles now with this amazing nutrient dense oil on your scalp certainly you will be able to reap more of the benefits now the thing with hair stuff or things in general is that you just have to be a bit more consistent with the treatment that you're doing before perhaps you jump onto the next thing um definitely just give it a bit of time just to see how your hair reacts to the pre to the previous treatment do you get what i mean um so yeah essentially it just takes consistency so i'm just going ahead here and just working it through 
my entire hair now I'm not going to show you guys how I'm applying it throughout my hair here because otherwise the video is going to be very long um, but essentially what I did I just went ahead and did that throughout my entire head so every single twist was done and we twisted because I usually wash my hair in twist and then I just put a heat cap on and allowed it to sit on my head for about two hours and then I went ahead and shampooed my hair right normally uh, and rinsed off with some cool water and when I tell you how amazing my hair felt like it was so soft like literally so soft um, it was really shiny as well and after I finished that and det I was detangling my hair I didn't really experience that much breakage which was actually really good not breakage so sorry shedding which is actually amazing so definitely worth trying as a hot oil treatment um, because you will definitely reap the benefits so this bit here was done you can see how it's looking nice and shiny and smooth like my hair felt really nice and silky which was actually really good and that was pretty much the same thing after i shampooed my hair so this is pretty much it for me today guys i do hope you've enjoyed watching the video and if you did please give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video bye now